walking off the road. Hey, bitch, I'm like a long pole. Hey, this shit me years old. Hey, it seems everything you know. Hey, my heart stuck you so broke. Stand up, madam. Mm -hmm. yes, Brother man, see, are you that man? That has nothing to give to the people. Hey, what you looking for, bro? Hey, find a way to make a dough. Hey, kill a man, kill a soul. Hey, anything blocking off the road. Like a long pole, and hey, this chick me years old. Hey, it seems everything you know. Hey, my heart's stuck to some love. Babe, honey, I'm home. Tessa, 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 Esther. Esther, what are you doing? Don't tell me you're just preparing dinner. I'm on it. So you want us to eat late again today? Mm, to be ready to turn on our hour. Better. Uh, besides, what did Kester have for lunch? He hasn't eaten anything since back from here. Why? He said he wasn't hungry. He hasn't been looking happy after he argued with somebody on phone. <sighs> okay. Um, um. Fine, I just um, had my exercises and those stuff. And that's enough reason why you refuse to have lunch? Well, I'm not hungry. Okay, well, I got this for you a shirt and a tie. Thank you. You're not going to. Look at it. I will. I'm just tired. Kesta, what is wrong with you? Look, nothing. Nothing is wrong. I'm, I'm perfectly okay. Look, okay, to tell you the truth, I, I think I just have to go home, okay? I, I, I'm worried about my project. You don't have to worry about your project, Kesta. That's why you hired the hands of an associate producer and a director to oversee your affairs. Look, I know. But you see, I just have to... What is going on? Who called you today? Or who did you call? A business associate. Male or female? Hey, hey, hey. Why are you asking me this question? I just want to know so I can ascertain why you're not happy. Oh, is it because I refused you sex? Grace. Wait, I mean, I did it for your own sake. The doctor said your health was not strong enough for us to begin Grace. to have sex. It was for you. I, I mean, I, I just want you to be okay. That was Please why... Just stop. Stop it, will you? What? Stop. Were you in love with my sister? Yeah, I was. But this was sad. I wasn't able to summon the courage to let her know. I stole it now. Though I never approved of her reckless and wild lifestyle, she was so headstrong and independent. I love her so much. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I miss her very much. Yes, I do. I didn't realize what I had for her. Until I lost her.
Someday, we shall meet again, sister. And never to part no more. I don't know what to trust anymore. I wish I could just reach out and touch her. <laughs> Were you crying? No. I'm not crying. Tears in your eyes. I swear, I will avenge her death something, I promise. Oh well. I need to know who is responsible for her death. Forget about your operations. Okay? What do you want? Hello, hello, Eddie, Eddie, it's Miriam. Miriam? Yes, you remember me? Okay, okay, this, this is beginning to make more sense. So you all are in this together, right? Eddie, listen to me, I, I have information I can give you. No, you listen to me. Tell your madam I did nothing wrong to her. Since you all have decided to gank up against me to destroy me, fine, okay? But let her know, let her be ready when I'm ready to come after my own enemies. In as much as I am not happy with Grace right now, she's quite ignorant of all that is happening. So you know what's happening, right? Good. It's fine. And that would be all. Eddie, I just wish you can listen to me. Besides, you don't own me. I mean, I can't be caged now. Caged? Yes. Is that what you're saying to of me? Of course. Yes, 
higher income. No, 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 listen. I am a businessman, okay? I use what I have to get what I want. God, I hate you. What are you, man? Are you sick? Now listen to me. No woman has ever, ever done that, okay? Not even you. And you can start it. I have business to take care of, and I need you out of my way. Did you just do that to me? All my business. And when I'm ready to take care of you, I will. Now stand up and get out. I swear to God, you regret this. Get out. You will take it out! Guess that you're a bad guy. I'm receiving a scheme in my head. Thinking big, thinking large. I'm feeling a lean in my head. The devil is sing high. to your office and I was told you did not come to work. And you didn't come here to find out why I missed the office, did you? Obviously not. What were you doing in my house, Mr. Edward Oshimi? To find out why you hate me so much. You are so disgusting. I trusted you. I let you ride on my back. What did you do? You betrayed me. That's what you did. You never believed in yourself. As such, you never trusted my judgment. I mean, you are easy to lie to at any time. So, therefore, believed him. Well, he proved to me beyond reasonable doubt that you are not who you said you were. Do you believe in violence as a means of setting skulls? Why? Why do you have to, to, to express your hatred for me by, by connarding with him to, to murder someone? What, 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 what are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? Don't tell me you have no knowledge of Naomi's death. <laughs> Who is Naomi? Naomi is my friend! Got murdered by talk sent by your friend, Kesta! I've gone insane! Your evil ways has finally driven you to insanity, can't you see that? If you weren't insane, you would have known that the evil plans you carried out won't be hidden for long. My, my goodness! Eddie, you, you do drugs now? Are you, are you on drugs? Listen, I've come to warn you because I believe you're a good woman. Kesta is a career gun person whom I thought I would have changed. Stay away from him. Thank you very much. I have. Now leave my house. I know that you know about Naomi's death because Miriam knows about everything that is going on here. You have to truly cost me more pains when I found out you are part of the conspiracy. Leave my house. Be warm. Tell me, Miriam, what do you know about Naomi's death? Naomi? Does the name sound strange to you? No, I don't know any Naomi. Perhaps I'll refresh your memory if I say Eddie's friend. Well, I don't know Eddie had a friend called Naomi. How did she die? That is what I want to know. How did she die? And you are going to tell me. Well, I do want to tell you about Kesta and I. What happened between Kesta and yourself? Madam, you have no idea. I want to hear from your mouth. What happened between Kesta and yourself? Well, Kesta deceived us. He lied to us that um, Eddie wanted to kill him. Right now, I have reasons to believe that he's not even the one that conceived the whole idea of the reality show. What are you trying to say? That Eddie did own the reality show? Yes. How did you know? 
I educated Kesta on what to do. I do know his primary objective is not only to collect the show, but to also win your heart. Seriously, I trusted Kester. I was wrong. Was it you, Grace, or the both of you? I worked on Grace's weaknesses, and Kester did the rest. Were you guys dating? No. I did not. But you guys did it, or he used you. Okay, let's just say I was stupid. Good. Which explains everything. How do you mean? Remember, he used to be my friend, okay. and I know how he operates. Apparently, he has got something to do with your boss. That's why you're angry. Look, Grace is too decent for a guy like him. I know they had a fallout, and I just pray it remains like that. You guys don't even know the devil you're dealing with. And to start with, you have to watch your back. Because if he finds out that you're talking to me, he will do anything. He can do kill. Please, will you just promise me that you make up with Grace? Please. I feel terrible for destroying what she both had. Eddie, please. Don't you dare touch me. That is not why I'm here. <laughs> Look, I know you're upset at me, right? You must think I'm stupid, right? Actually, on the contrary, I think you are so, so beautiful. Don't you dare patronize me, Kester. Your cover has been blown. I now know you've been sleeping with Miriam, and I also know you lied about Eddie. My goodness, you are so disgusting! Ah, uh, women, women, women. Why are you so predictable? Why? What? What? What is funny? <laughs> the funny thing is that Miriam has been able to carry out and exhibit her threat. What threat? I'm a nice guy, okay? Now, I have been trying to save her job because I'm only human. But if you don't know, Miriam has been asking me out from the first day I came to your office. Yes, and how she knew my phone number, how she got my address, I still don't know. Miriam has been chasing you. But you've been sleeping with her. I have never slept with her, though she wished I did. <laughs> Miriam even suggested to be married. And when she knew that, you know, you and I, you and I were intimate, you and I were getting down, she swore to destroy us. Miriam would never do a thing like that. She would never condescend so low as to want to compete with me. You know, what you don't know is that Miriam is a very, very ambitious woman. I mean, Miriam wants to own a bigger media outfit than yours. And I'm sure she must have told you like she's told every other person that she helped package me. Oh, yes. That is true, isn't it? The truth is that I have been so blessed with ideas, though in experience to carry them out. And that was how Eddie almost stole my ideas. Someone is lying to me here. Someone is not telling the truth. I'll tell you what. Miriam, I know, is making a big mistake by going to Eddie to carry out these threats. But what you don't know is, <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> Eddie, Eddie is a slimy, dangerous man. Someone is not telling me the truth. How long have you been working with me? For three years, madam. And all this while, you were planning my downfall? Madam, where is this coming from? Oh, shut up and stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. How well do you know, Kesta? I... Do you mean other than... Answer my question, Miriam. Are you dating Kesta? No, I... Liar! 
You cheap whore! Tell me, how many more of my clients have you been sleeping with in order to have your own company? How many? Okay, this is ridiculous. Fine, I had something to do with Kesta, but that was before I realized you both had... You are so disgusting! And that is ridiculous! You are, you are so disgusting! To think that you could compete with me and that would be in your best interest! Okay, madam. I wanted to tell you, but I don't want to hurt you. <gasps> you want Kesta? You can never have Kesta. You know why? Because he doesn't want you. Isn't it belittling? Sleeping with two friends? Madam, two? You are making a mistake. No. You are the one making a mistake, Miriam. And I am so certain their quarrel started from you. Okay, fine. I, I should have told you all this well, but I just thought... Keep your thoughts to yourself. I can never work with somebody I'm not comfortable with. Madam... Miriam! You are fired. Madam, you... Do I need to call security? No. Do I need to call security? No, he's using you. Hello? Hello? Eddie, this is Mia. How can I help you? Can I see you? I, we need to discuss something. Regards to what? I want to help you. You want to help me? <laughs> Did Grace send you to arrange this meeting? <laughs> no, Grace is so into Kesta right now. You know, web of life and all that. But we have to get her out of this. If only you are ready to cooperate with me. Well, Grace is an adult. And I believe she can take care of herself. And as for a good offer, God will exonerate me. And I'll be vindicated. Okay, so you will know. I just lost my job. But seriously, that does not matter now. Let's just see and discuss. Fine. Yeah, okay then. Good evening, ma. Good evening. What's it? Madam, na Oga Edio. He in there outside the gates. Why didn't you call with the intercom? Ma Madam, they didn't know they walk again. I'll kill him if I find him. Murderer. Ah! My love, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm really sorry. It's not like I doubted you. you know, I just needed to be sure. Who is Naomi? A lousy hope. So, um, what were you doing violating a lousy horse body? Excuse me? Kesta, I know you. Look, I know you love sex so much that you can even sleep with your friend's wife. Look, what, what, what's the meaning of this? I mean, what? And whatever, I don't have time. Hey, save it, Abby. Well, very soon you will know why I'm playing the fool. Telling me a lot of good things about you. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's nice to know. <laughs> uh, sit down. Um, Carl and I belong to uh, the same fraternity. Oh, well, it's clear. We are one big family. We are one one few things. Father's feelings too. Okay. Uh, what about it, beer? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You say so. Yeah, Eddie. Can I told me you're suspecting somebody to be behind Naomi's death? Well, uh, it was just a theory. I wasn't certain. 
as soon as your theory comes to friction, whoever that is behind it will suffer it the most. And I will make sure the person suffered it more than she did. I, I know how you feel. That if the police get the information before us, that they could go away shielding the killer or in the name of justice. I do understand what you're saying, but um, please, uh, will you guys please excuse me? It's all right. It's all right. I'll take care of it. Hello? It's okay. Do you trust him? Well, um, so far I have not faulted him. You know we can force out whatever he knows if you ask us to do so. <laughs> Naomi will cost me even in debt if I hurt her friend. Come on, leave that thing. She died because of this guy. Let's treat this guy's fuck up at once. Relax, man. man. Carl, cool down. As time goes on, something will turn up. Okay? Come on, relax. Take your beer, man. Answer the question. Do you miss me? Of course I miss you. See, um, I miss you so much that I just have to tell you right now something I've never told a woman. I I think I'm in love with you. Did you say you think? You sound like you're not certain. Is someone there with you? Well, uh, I, I am. Uh, um, look, 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 listen. Um, my, my... What? No, 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 not at all, no, no. No to what? No you think you're in love with me or you are in love with me? No. Look, I'm my, my kind of person, okay? This is me, alright? I, I, I... Now you're trying to deviate from the subject. Say, Grace, I am in love with you, and that way I will know you're serious. I, I'm a very, very forgiving person, okay? And, and that's that. I don't talk with people's emotions. Listen, I gotta go. I'm very busy, so don't play with me. Look, look, my word is bond, okay? Once I've said something, that is just the way it is. I've told you the truth, really. Performance bond, everything. Yes, everything I've submitted at the ministry. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, no problem. No problem. No problem at all. Uh, my regards to the chairman. Yes. All right. Bye now. Yeah. Who was that? A friend. Will that friend be Grace? Um, perhaps. Well, I'm willing to overlook whatever you have with Grace as long as it's based on business. Isn't that what a good woman is supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll be waiting for you upstairs okay. so you can finish what we started. Alright. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. I won't, baby. I'll, I'll just go get some water from the kitchen, huh? Alright. Okay. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. 
How come all of a sudden she's so sincere and understanding? Listen, I... I want you to get to the wardrobe, okay? There is an old briefcase. It's either on top of it or inside the wardrobe. Okay, alright, thanks. I'll keep in touch, okay? But meanwhile, I need to crash this laptop by going to your site right now and getting very dead fire. Listen, all my original handwritten ideas, they are bound to be there, except he removed it. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Are you on the phone? No, I I'll just play with my phone while I wait for you. Alright, I need to use the laptop. No. What wait? Haven't you stabbed me enough? No, let me just check my bed. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take time. No, I can't wait. Wait, it's not gonna take time. Time. This is nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. This is the handiwork of my enemies who want to bring me down. And I know it's Eddie's handiwork, yes. And you know what? I am going to face him. I will meet Esther? him. Yes? Can you please tell me something better? At least give me a good lie or something. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You actually believe this, 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 this cheap gossip? <sighs> Kesta, the reporter did a terrible job. I mean, look at this. Your old photograph is on the magazine to support their claim. So are your hotel datas. Look. Listen, don't, don't tell me you, you actually do believe the cock and bull story of me being rusticated from two universities because of cult activities. The three girls you raped claim that you are a monster. Your HOD did claim that you did threaten him when he refused to accept bribe from you. The police have other evidence to prove other criminal activities you have been involved in. What? What, 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 what is going on? Tell me, wait, is this true? Wait, wait. Of course it's not true. What are you talking about? It's not true. You know what? I'm going to consult my lawyer because of this. I'm going to sue happening people because of this nonsense. They will regret ever publishing this. I already called the editor. I mean, this is extremely damaging. It's obviously going to embarrass our clients whom you're supposed to be handling their job. Uh, what, what did the editor say? He said he's sure of his source and he'll be willing to meet you in court. That, of course, is if you have the nerves to sue them. Really? Really. I thought you said you knew this case that matter. No. I... I don't know him. I mean, I, I've never met him before. Really? Come on. I'm sure we've discussed about him on the phone when Naomi told me about your... accommodation problem. N no. No. I, I mean, that can be true. I don't... I don't know this Kester from Adam. I, I, I don't. Okay. I think I remember. I remember vividly now. It was uh, Naomi that told me how this Kester model cheated you out of a huge contract and later threw you out of his house. <laughs> no. It wasn't this Kester, the name is Pastor, you understand? Pastor is my business partner, you know, we call him Pastor because he has a calm attitude. That's why. But this, this guy, you know, I, I don't know him. You know, both names uh, has the same rhyme. Kester, Pastor, both of them have the same rhyme. Yeah, yeah. Relax. Look, I am the media expert here. You know, we have to find a way to defuse this case before it gets out of hand. Because Audio Media and Softsell will be looking for more scoops. How will this affect us? Well, it can damage your career if not carefully handled. Besides, Grace will be forced to cancel her deal with you. And other public relations company would not want to offer you a job. So what do we do now? Well, 
will find a way to counter your story, you know, grant press interviews. But I need to know all the stories they said about you. Is it true? Um, they were. They were um, exaggerated. But um, you spent a week in jail because of a 419 connected offense. I was innocent, okay? But I thought you said Eddie was responsible for all the terrible uh, things. Hey, why, why are you asking me silly questions? Okay, you should concern yourself with getting me out of this. Okay, it can be done, but it will cost you money. How much? Um, 20 million. What? Wait, 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 am I a politician? No, you are a celebrity. Unless you want your name to be forgotten like a bad news. Okay, okay, I, 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 I can come up with 10 million. Uh -huh. I, I mean, look, you just have to save me out of this. If not, Eddie will laugh at us. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not going to laugh at us, okay? Just trust me on this one, okay? <laughs> mm, this is one blow below the belt, really. Mm, all right. swimming in dangerous waters. <laughs> Every man screams when you hold him and squeeze him real hard down there. Hell is nothing compared to a woman who is hot. Look, I started this. I am willing to end it. Here. Here is an agreement between Kester and my former office. I just realized that no episode has been shot. So, um, what do you have in mind? My source in happening people is to publish your profile this weekend that will be unveiled to the media next weekend. How do you intend to do that? Well, I have a registered company called Top Class Media. They are in charge of the unveiling to rival Kester's project that is supposedly handling. But there was no show to unveil. I know 80% of what you read in Soft Cell is hype. Every business is based on hype and gossip. Well, I, I'm suddenly scared. I mean, what if they're going to cut up our booth? Don't worry. I personally handpicked the crew working on Kester's show. Besides, that idiot has not even visited the office for weeks. And I'm sure they are willing to sabotage him. Well, uh, that's Kester for you. He's a strategist. He's not an industrial man. My only fear is... Heads, we rode off. Look, just be ready and willing to take the glory. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'll keep this one. Bro, hey, find a 
way it don't make a dough hey. Kill a man, kill a soul hey. Anything blocking off the road hey. Bitchin' like a long pole hey. This shit be years old hey. It seems everything you know hey. Over how to touch your soul broke 